Imagine the ottoman is a stick of, I can't believe it's not butter. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm in a totally different space today. I know I've never shown you my front room before, never needed to, but I'm doing something a little bit different. That's why I'm in here. Hopefully y'all like it. But I'm finally gonna acknowledge my channel name of Maggie's Books and Stuff <laughs> and make something finally. I'm gonna make something a little kooky if I'm being honest. But on this bookcase, which you've never seen before, I have a bunch of like super cheesy McCheeserson historical romance covers, you know, like the 80s, 90s sort of like bodice rippers of the super artsy half-naked men and like the busty ladies on them. I have a bunch of those. And at the top, there's basically a shrine to Fabio. Fuck. It's all of his books that he wrote. He wrote. And in the middle, there's nothing. So I need to kind of fill that spot. I was thinking I could find a Funko Pop of him, but it doesn't exist. So Funko, you're sleeping on that idea. I'm telling you, people would buy Funko Pops of Fabio. Just saying. But that just means I have to make it. So that being said, let's jump into it because I'm nervous and I just want to get started. And I need to figure out how I'm gonna pose this dude. So let's get into that. <laughs> oh, all right. First things first, guys. We have to figure out how Fabio's gonna pose. And I thought about drawing it, but that's gonna take too much time. So I'm just gonna do the poses myself. So, you know, enjoy my embarrassment, I guess. <laughs> but I have so many different historical romance covers. I've been looking at a bunch and just kind of figuring out how he should pose. So I'm gonna do that on the ottoman now. I have a couple poses in mind here, but just imagine, okay, just stick with me here. Imagine the ottoman is a stick of, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not butter because I think that has to be the foundation, right? Like that, he was a sponsor for them. So we have to use that somehow. But getting into the poses, the first one, I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe the butter's kind of melting and he's like laying across it <laughs> and he can have like his hand down front, but he's got to like be pushing out the pecs, you know? Got to show those muscles. I don't know if he'll be shirtless or have a shirt. They could be like this, which I think would be funny because <laughs> imagine the black soulless eyes of a freaking Funko Pop head in this position. <laughs> we could do something like this or this or he could be standing on the butter. He flexing his muscles up or holding a sword above his head like he does on Viking or even flexing downwards just like this. You know, he does that in his rogue book, I believe. But we gotta definitely have the pecs out. Chest has to be out. Period, end of story. Whether it's fully or just a little bit, we gotta be out there. So now it's time to choose the pose. Eventually. <sighs> All right, guys, I can't procrastinate anymore. I've measured, I've changed, I picked my pose. I need to actually get started, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, really nervous. I'm worried it's gonna come out like crap because my Aries brain likes to make things more complicated than it needs to be. And it's a freaking pop figure, you know? It's a Funko Pop, it shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> but I'm nervous anyways. But I just need to get going. I'm gonna give myself a time limit. I'm gonna make myself have to like do all the sculpting in two hours and then maybe paint the whole thing in two hours. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes, but I'll stop jib jabbing and just get started and just work through the pain of anxiety. All right, let's go. later I I tried to get too creative and tried to make a little girl that was like watch well, and say a little girl oh Jesus I'm making this worse so I made a woman okay that was my intent I made a woman but I made her too small I kind of wanted her to be like a historical romance lady like lifting up her skirts with her knees pulled together and whatever but it came out looking kind of like a little girl kind of but um, she was too small, so I nixed her, I panicked, I freaked out, and then I got mad. So, uh, you know, I just stopped doing stuff for the day. But 
I'm done with the sculpting now, so here's what I got. So I got the little head, of course. I got his body. I don't have like any nipples or anything on him yet. I tried to put them on there, but three-dimensional ones just look really wrong. So I nixed that. Another thing that I kind of like had a mini panic attack over, which I know is stupid, but I did. But then I also got the butter and I got like a little like panty set there. Almost like ladies are just like so obsessed with Fabio that they're throwing their panties. And then, you know, some butter, butter pad. And that's what I got. I think all together it's gonna come together all right, but now I just need to paint the bad mama jamma. So let's just get to it and then I'll be done with it and then I'll have it and I'll be excited hopefully. So let's do that. I love that I did it. It's one of those things where I freak out beforehand, but by the end of it, I'm obsessed with the fact that I did do it because no one else has this now. And he's my little Fabio Funko, you know? Like I love that he's got his rippling pectorals and his abs and he has, you know, the butter and his, the little panty set and the boxers because ladies are just like so obsessed with them and the men. So I think it's fun, you know? I love all the little details. It's, you know, it's cheeky, I guess. It's very me. <laughs> I like weird, funky art. So I'm happy I did it. I hope you liked it. I know it's something totally different now with me, like doing some art stuff, but I hope you enjoyed it. Next week, I'll get back to the bookish content. And actually speaking of that, next Sunday on June 25th, I'm actually gonna do like a read along for the Make Games so you guys can come see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna reread the first series, Make Games War. It's on KU, by the way, but I recommend Audible. Just trust me, the voice is fantastic. But come join me if you want. It's gonna be a live reading sprint so we can chat live. Uh, Hannah's gonna be there along with maybe some other potential booktubers so we can literally cringe together, laugh together. Just have a good fun, good fun time, I guess. I don't even know how to talk anymore because I'm excited about that and I'm excited about the make games. So I just need to go and <laughs> stop chip chabbing because I'm just, running on. But you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll catch you later. Bye.